We are following that breaking news for you in Newington, where crews are investigating a house fire that took place earlier this morning on Robbins Avenue. As you can see from this video, the house completely charred. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galil is live at the scene with what we know. Aya. Well, Nicole, well, Connecticut State Police just arrived here at the scene right now, and I can tell you, fortunately, everyone made it out of this home safely. We are told four people lived inside of the home. They made it out safely. Unfortunately, the firefighters battling this blaze were not injured either. Now, I'm going to step out, give you a live look right now at the scene. You can see still a very active scene. Crews continue their work putting out hot spots. They have now been able to go actually inside of the house, but you can see just how badly charred this home is extensive damage to the entire structure and so now this home is uninhabitable so we're told that this fire broke out around 4:30 this morning and crews were able to get to the scene very quickly firefighters found the house fully engulfed in smoke and flames they had to fight the fire from the outside and couldn't go inside because of how much smoke and flames there were so we know that mutual aid was called in and one of the concerns here for firefighters they wanted to make sure that the flames did not spread to neighboring buildings Upon arrival, our, our man, manpower got some big water on the fire very quickly. Our main goal was to protect our exposure buildings on either side of the house that you can see. Uh, with that amount of fire, the radiant heat, we didn't want it uh, involving any other structures. And so the fire marshal's office will investigate the cause and origin of the fire Connecticut State Police will also now be assisting with this investigation. If your morning commute takes you through the Robbins area, Robbins Avenue area of Newington, you will want to avoid this area because the road is still blocked off and we expect firefighters to be out here for a few more hours. Reporting live this morning in Newington, Aya Channel 3 Eyewitness News.